Hello everyone, Lorenzo here. Today I wanted to talk about The Flash, Season 1, Episode 8, Flash vs. Arrow. As implied by the title, this is the crossover between The Flash and the original CW superhero show that is not Smallville, Arrow. So, Team Arrow, Oliver, Felicity, both which we haven't seen previously in the show, and uh, another guy named Diggle. They visit Central City from Starling City, looking for a sp specific substance in a murder case that they're investigating involving a boomerang. And Barry, he asks if they want to help each other out because they're dealing with more metahuman business. Reluctant at first, but then Oliver agrees. <clears throat> so the metahuman that they're dealing with, Roy G. Biv, Alo. He has the power to induce rage in people. He just makes eye contact with a person, his eyes go red, their eyes go red, next thing you know, angry. And when multiple people are like this, they start trying to kill each other, which allows him to rob a bank while they're distracted. So, while Team Arrow and Team Flash are working together, there is some conflict. Oliver tries to train Barry. Nah, technically, his powers are still new. And Barry's excited to, but he uh, gets a little violent. He says Barry needs to run at him while he shoots an arrow, but he's still going to get hit. Barry, psh, no big deal, runs, catches it, but then two arrows are shot in his back, hidden in the grass. <laughs> yeah, hurts a lot. And, yeah, doesn't make him happy. And that's one of the main differences between these two shows. The Flash, as we have seen so far, while, yes, there's crime and violence, it's still lighter it's light-hearted the team is having fun with their superior business it's all ridiculous and it's just cool in general but as we can see from oliver as the arrow and his techniques it's a little grittier he's more willing to hurt people make them bleed and he is willing to do the same in training, from the looks of it. And that's the part where they don't get along. Barry doesn't agree with Oliver's violent tendencies. Oliver doesn't agree with Barry's casualness. And then this also applies to the other, the others. Joe and Dr. Wells, they bring in Barry to talk about the arrow visiting how they don't like it since he's killed multiple criminals and two terrorist attacks have happened since he showed up yeah this episode's good on giving backstory without making it seem too hammered in but dang too anyways the metahuman Shows up again, and Barry goes to confront him. Unfortunately, he doesn't remember that he affects people through the eyes, so he makes eye contact. He's eyes turn red. He seems affected, but then he gets back, and from the results, everything's fine. But then he's a little antsy, and Caitlin's showing concern for him getting upset, like in previous episodes, and then Barry, rather than being... Kind, he snaps, saying that he's not Ronnie, and Caitlin's thrown back. Everyone's thrown back. Then he leaves. Uh, and he's. <sighs> he does this multiple times. Captain Singh, his boss at CCPD, he gets on to him for not turning in a certain assignment. Barry gets mad at him and yells, which is very dangerous when. It's at your boss, and Joe tries to calm him down, and then Barry's yelling at him, 
and then Joe sees that his eyes were glowing red, so he knows what happened. So, while Joe tells the rest of the team what had happened, Barry goes to Oliver. Oliver thinks they're going to turn again, but then Barry gives him his own speech about how Oliver, he thinks he's better than him because of his experience and talent and general luck with girls and other stuff. But now that Barry has his powers, it makes him jealous. Seems a little weird. Like, on the one hand, at face value, it seems a little cheesy and it doesn't really make sense. But when you think about it, that's what Barry's been dealing with himself. He's jealous of Oliver for his skill level as a fighter. And he's jealous of Eddie and how he's dating Iris, his the love of his life. And yeah, it's been bottling up. The team are talking about the fl the Flash himself and what had happened. His super speed it means hyper metabolism, which in this case means his anger is taking longer to process, to boil. But they also realize that the longer you hold in emotions, the worse the explosion is gonna be. So they have to hurry. And so, Eddie is talking with Iris in the car. They, they've been arguing because Eddie thinks that the Flash is a menace and he wants to assemble a task force with the police, but they're not really agreeing with him. And Iris, she's kind of been fangirling him-ish. Like, they, as throughout the show, Iris and the Flash have been having this weird thing where they talk. And, yeah, a lot of people know that what Barry's doing is wrong. But he does it anyway. He's kind of taking advantage of this flirting with her. And she's kind of giving in. Well, not good. But anyways, in the car, they're talking, and then the Flash just yanks him out into the street. He's he's about to destroy him. He's yelling at him. He's angry. And then Iris, he's she's trying to calm him down, but he's mad at her, her too. He's just done. He's yelling, and he's about to kill Eddie, but then next thing you know, he's pulled away by a rope that has wrapped him up. And it turns out it's the arrow. He has shown up. He has been brought in to stop the Flash. Iris and Eddie make their escape. And this is the big fight. Flash versus Arrow. And so... This is... This is where you compare skill versus natural ability. And even the cast themselves are playing into this. Diggle is watching along with Cisco and Caitlin and Felicity while they're trying to manage. Cisco, no, Caitlin, she worries that the Flash might hurt Oliver, but then Diggle worries that the arrow might hurt Barry. And then that's when their debate comes up. S S Cisco brings up facts about how fast Barry can run compared to an arrow, but Oliver, Oliver Diggle says, he's killed a lot of people with that bow and arrow. And it basically comes down to one of my favorite parts. Diggle, my money's on experience. Cisco, my money's on speed. Felicity, just, she's, can we not talk about this right now? Something like that. She's been having a thing with each of them. Eh. But anyways, the fight itself. Barry, he technically has the advantage with his speed. He's able to dodge attacks. But Oliver, he's prepared. He shoots an arrow that supposedly misses Barry, but it turns out it's explosive, so that throws him off guard. Uh... Barry, he runs around, kind of just to evade him. He doesn't really 
do much attacking. Where, on the one hand, you'd think, now that he's angry, he would come in more. But, you know, you gotta, you gotta build up. <laughs> and I think right at that point, he's more just teasing Oliver at that point because he feels like he has the advantage. But Barry underestimates Oliver. <laughs> Oliver, he shoots him with a horse tranquilizer arrow, which supposedly takes away speed, but he just vibrates himself, evaporates it, so it doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> kind of makes him mad, all this stuff. So he takes some fire from the garbage bin that the arrow had shot and runs around Oliver, which looks scary, and then Oliver shoots an arrow to a building so that he can go up, but then Barry runs up the building, and then he goes, where are you going? Unhooks the arrow, arrow's falling, and then he shoots another one so that he doesn't splat. Then Barry's back on the ground, and so Barry starts trying, he just starts running around Oliver as Oliver tries hitting him with his bow, but he keeps missing because Barry's fast, but he does a maneuver where he hits one way, Barry dodges, and then as Barry's rising up, he hits him the other way, which is clever, but makes Barry mad. Next thing you know, Barry's giving him a bunch of punches from all over the place, all around him, which, yeah, now that he's giving it his all, it's Oliver's losing. Oliver's on the ground, and then he activates a button, and he pulls a very similar trick to what he had done earlier in the episode where two arrows shoot from behind Barry, but he catches on, so he turns around and catches them. <laughs> Fool me once! And then <laughs> Oliver, he's ready for that. He just takes out a little arrow and shoots it into his thigh. <laughs> really hurts, and yeah, he doesn't have that running advantage anymore. So now they're both standing weak, looking at each other. <sighs> Oliver still believes in Barry. Barry goes in for one more punch, and then Oliver stops him. Then he punches the punches the back of his shoulder to turn around and then holds him as tightly as he can. Next thing you know, Star Lab's van comes in. Joe is driving it. Wells has a controller. And they stop turning it sideways. And then doors open and there's flashing lights. And Oliver makes Barry stare at it. And that's what calms him down. They had figured out that messing with colored lights should be able to fix the anger issue. Barry's back to normal. Both are very tired and they walk. Barry apologizes. Oliver forgives him and then they go to catch their metahuman. This was a really great fight scene. I, I've loved the fights in general in The Flash with their special effects. It's been looking great but there hasn't been as much choreography per se. Just Just because Character-wise, they generally don't have a lot of martial arts experience, but they do have their superpowers, so that's what they're dependent on. Arrow, on the other hand, he himself is a martial artist, and most of his enemies are normal humans. So, it was really nice seeing the two come together. The stunt choreography and the special effects it was beautiful it was like a dance number but with lights <laughs> it was it was like a movie it was like a very beautiful movie so they catch a bilbo we don't even see this which is kind of disappointing but when you really think about it now that they know what his gimmick is not all you can do he's put into the metahuman prison cisco gives him the nickname prism Caitlin preferred Rainbow Raider. Six is like, no. And then Oliver mentions a prison that they had on Arrow in the North China Sea. And then Oliver talks with Star Labs. Dr. Wells was able to figure out his identity somehow, so there was no point. He, Dr. Wells just kind of spilled it. Uh, and then they shake hands and depart. Oliver himself admits that there's something off about Dr. Wells, so should probably pay attention to that. But yeah, they, they're at peace with each other. Joe, he doesn't agree with his methods, but he, he likes the results. And yeah, they're willing to work with each other again.
back in CC Jitters, the cafe, Eddie is talking with Iris. He was able to convince the police to put together the task force because of the incident. And Iris, she, she understands where Eddie's coming from. Barry's watching. He's very sad. Oliver, he tells him that he has to move on. Guys like us don't get the girl. And he looks at Felicity. So we know that there's been some weird romantic stuff between Oliver and Felicity, but it, there's not a lot that we know. I I just assumed that Felicity had a crush on Oliver and he was like, no. <laughs> uh, but yeah. It, it was kind of cynical, but fair enough message. When you deal with high heartbreak, that's bound to pop up. <sighs> Oliver's about to leave, and then he talks to the woman who seems to recognize him, and they talk about his mom, and then they're off. Yeah. Barry's the flash later in the night. He tries to talk with Iris, apologize for it, explain that it was a metahuman that did it to him, but she, she's lost faith. She's, she's mad. She's more disappointed, really. Because she had been looking up to him, even though others had warned her. But that's kind of where their relationship ends. Which is sad, but the fact that Barry had kind of been playing with her for his advantage, it it's kind of karma. Uh... And then at the end, Caitlin is looking at a picture of her and Ronnie, and then it cuts to a guy shivering on under a road, and two guys try to rob him, but then he bursts into flames, and it turns out it's Ronnie. Yeah, so this is our, on one hand, first twist that doesn't involve Dr. Wells, so something different. By the other hand, Ronnie's alive, and he's on fire. Okay. So, overall... I love this episode. Not just for the visuals. I talk to great length about that fight scene. I think that's the longest I've gone into a one scene in general. But just the ideology clash. Seeing a darker but more professional superhero come in with a more fun but less experienced superhero. Seeing them work together, argue, but s still take advantage of their own ways. They are able to bring the best of both of themselves along with the teams. So I think overall, this episode was just... Even it, when... It's about discriminating. Even when you disagree there's always some middle ground there's always a way to see the other person's point of view and come together as long as you both are going for the greater good because you can also see this with iris and eddie iris doesn't like what eddie's trying to do because she liked the flash but then now she sees that he was violent so overall yeah it's about understanding the other person in an argument as best as you can nicely done y'all at the cw both arrow and flash i love that it. it is definitely a favorite definitely makes me want to watch arrow the the cameos Previously of both Oliver and Felicity, yeah, they gave me slight interest, but this is definitely a moment that made me a little, definitely made me interested. Yeah. Can't wait to talk about the next one. See you soon.